Good day coders, this is Bagari and we are back with another video where we simplify this coding concept. So the focus of this video is actually to enable a course for our front end. So see now you've integrated like your front end with your back end and with the login endpoint and say now when you try to log in, right, and then you get this error over here where it says that uh, this origin, right, has been blocked uh, by course policies, right? So how to actually uh, fix that issue is on your back end, right? You want to enable course, right? So how we go about doing that is, um, where can we do that? Let's just do it here, right? And then here we might have like, uh, just want to have it like that, uh, enable course over here right and then how we do it we say we use the builder dot services dot add course right wanna add our course and then we close that right so what we want to do is actually use an error function to say options error function then from our options dot we want to add a policy right so upon adding a policy, we need the name of that policy. So we can create the name over here and say var my cause, right? Equals to equals to app cause, right? App cause. You can like maybe just name this anything you want, right? So app cause, then here we'll just say my cause right and then we'll need to have an error function over here which is policy and then let's just close that off over here and then we'll say policy dot with cause right so this is where we actually add the name of our origin so now since our front end is actually hosted locally we'll just um, enter that URL over here HTTP uh, for slash local host and then port four thousand two hundred right so local host yeah so that's all we need over here and then to enable this to work right we need to actually use uh course so app dot use use right enable our app to actually use cause right so yeah that's what we need then we can just stop and restart all right so let's go about actually testing <laughs> if this actually works so we'll go to our front end and we should actually expect an error again right so now see now we we hit uh the, the the sign in method right it still says that um the origin is blocked by cause and this is because like we haven't actually enabled our api to actually allow the cause right uh not our api like our actual endpoint we want to use to enable cause right so how we can do this over here is actually you can either either choose if you want to enable a specific endpoint um like uh, you want to enable calls to a specific endpoint or to the whole um controller right so all the endpoints in that controller so how you go about doing that is actually say enable calls enable calls and then uh it's trying to make this video as short as possible <laughs> um so let's just say yeah and guys if you're new to the channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe uh so let me just save that over there and then i don't like using the hot, hot reload because in some instances it just doesn't want to work um and then let's now test okay now we still get another we still get the same error right uh but we did enable like cause um in our actual controller right 
but now the issue is that we haven't actually specified like uh which methods it should use and we haven't also allowed like headers right so how we go about doing that is actually come over here and go to this uh where we enabled our cause we added this policy with origin and then over here we want to add allow allow any headers right so this is to uh, for the purpose of this uh, video we're just gonna allow all headers right and then here we'll also say allow any method any method right so you could also like restrict uh like the specific policy to just allow get method puts post delete and so on so on right but for the purpose of this uh video we're just gonna allow everything so let's now run and i believe now this should work let me just clear the console and run that did that even run Oh yeah so it did run uh let's just go in there again okay yeah so we do now get like a successful method over here uh which is actually our token our expiration date and our actual token that we have back right so this actually does work right so now say now in the object we are passing in in our login over here was a wrong password uh, we should actually get like an error message right we should actually get an error message saying our user name or password is incorrect so now this actually works so if you like this video and you are new to the channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe and peace